all righty team so you've just done your nice warm-up you've done a good session and now it's time to cool down we need to stretch out those muscles that you have been working very hard on so what i would say when it comes to this and we're doing static stretches for this with static stretches you want to do them i would personally advise five to ten seconds many other organizations would actually say doing it for 30 seconds Personally, I would say that is a little bit too long. Now, when it comes to say like a stretch, it should never feel painful. You should just feel a release. If it's painful, come away from it. That means you could cause injury and we do not want any soft tissue damage and we do not want to damage ligaments or tendons. Absolutely not. So let's get going. So we're going to do it as if it's a full body cool down, okay? Again, if you're doing specific, um, specific body groups, so say like you did a lower body session, obviously a bit more emphasis on the lower body but i still strongly advise you do a full body cool down so if you're in a gym and you get the time i would say try and do something like a cool down where you're using like a rower treadmill or a cross trainer for about five minutes just to bring that heart rate down or something like that and it's got to be a nice gentle pace nothing too strenuous so you're still moving your body but you're just bringing it back down again so yeah, let's go into some static stretches. So, and take a nice wide stance. We're gonna breathe in. Come down to the ground. Touching the ground. Now, I've got very tight hamstrings, I will admit, so I can't fully touch the ground right now, which is terrible, which means I need to do some more cool downs. And you're just gonna reach over to your left ankle. And then reach over to your right. And then we're just going to stretch out our middle of our thigh. So taking a little bit wider, coming down, resting into that knee. So you get a nice stretch in this inner thigh here. Bring it up and go down to the other side. Okay, come back up. So just going to do one more like sort of nice stretch here. And what I want you to do is I want you to roll your spine up. So just take it nice and slow, kind of like what you see in Pilates and yoga. So just one vertebrae at a time. Fantastic. So now what we're going to do, if you can not wobble, grabbing your leg, nice quad stretch. You might want to hold onto a side for this. Okay, great. And now we're just going to take the other side. I don't know how I'm balancing here. This is pretty impressive for me. And what we're going to do, a nice stretch out. We're going to stretch out our calf and our hamstring. And if you want to just take it a little bit further and you're not feeling any pain or too much tightness, you could just touch that toe and just bring it back further so you can really feel a stretch in that calf. Okay, and we're just going to do the other leg. Just gonna grab that toe, stretch that calf. Okay, great stuff. So, the next we're gonna do, just do a little bit more on our quads. Hopefully I don't get too much mud on my knees here. It's dry. <laughs> so we're gonna go on our knees and we're just gonna grab that back foot, stretch out that quad a bit more. Great stuff, and then we go to the other one. Ah, no mud. Good times. Okay, now we're just going to sit on the floor. Again, hopefully I don't get any mud on my bum here. I'm just going to reach down to the middle. How far can you go without stretching too far? So you just should feel just a slight bit of tension just to feel that release, okay? I'm just going to reach over to your right foot. And back to the middle, reach over to the left. Great stuff. Bring your feet together now. Now I'm not gonna do the typical one, well you can. The one thing I would say with this stretch, there's a lot of curvature in the spine which can cause a little bit of problem. So I'll just be very careful with that stretch. But what we're gonna do is do a glute stretch. So bring your foot over, across your knee, Push your knee towards your torso, but then turn your torso the opposite way. 
So you get a nice stretch here in your glute. Okay, and bring that down. Switch the other side. Again, push it towards your body. Turn your body the opposite way. Great stuff. Okay, fab. I have got mud on my knees. Oh no, not ideal when you've got white trousers on, eh? Very practical. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna stretch over. And again for the other side. Now the other thing is with cool downs, you can do it as an active cool down, similar to how I do your warm ups. But it's just quite nice to get a little bit of static stretches in as well, just to lengthen those muscles again that you've worked really hard on today. Okay, link your fingers together and bring it up. And then what we're going to do is bring them forward, stretch out those rhomboids so you can see that I'm stretching it out there. And then linking the fingers behind, if my hands let me. Yeah, and we're going to stretch out and look up to the sky. Hopefully it won't rain on me. So next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna stretch out our triceps. So just grabbing it, taking it behind your head. Nice little light stretch there. If you would like me to do a video on cool downs or warm ups using a foam roller, please do let me know. I am happy to do such a thing. Just put it in the comment below on this video and I will respond. Now all you need to do is just a few more Circles. And now we're going to go the other direction. Fantastic. And now we're just going to grab our head. I'm just going to do a very light stretch. Nothing too much, okay? Just a very light stretch for the neck. And then we're going to go to the other side. And I just want you to just quickly, just, I say quickly, just a nice slow roll of your neck. And the other direction. And just a few shoulder rolls. Now I'm happy to do more videos that give you some like other tips and ideas. If it's say like you want to do a lower body focus, for example, on a cool down or a warm up, or you would like me to do one on like an upper body work, um, warm up or cool down. Do let me know, but I just thought I'd give you a few basic feel, um, feel for what it's like to do for a full body session. But like I say, with warm ups and cool downs, I strongly advise obviously you do for both if you have the time, obviously. At the moment, I know gyms are only allowing us an hour at a time, but I strongly advise you at least warm up and do a stretch or cool down as soon as you get home. It's just incredibly great for you. Flexibility is definitely part of fitness that is highly, highly neglected. So I strongly advise you do so. But if you would like me to add any more videos or give you tips, like I say, for before you do a massive lower body session, I'm happy to teach you how to stretch out those legs a little bit better or warm up those, um, those uh, muscles a little bit better as well as get some fluid into the joints. Do let me know by commenting in the boxes below. Thanks so much for watching.